co-working is the solution to what I consider the huge, gigantic, calamitous problems. That's different from saying that. So, that is, I don't see, you may, again, I plead ignorance. I don't know. I've said now enough times that I don't know. But I don't really understand you see, to, to my mind, the climate problem is very serious. Um, I think that if you don't do something pretty quick, that's pretty drastic. But the way as I understand, or as we live in working, is that first you find out what you want to do, then you do that, then you make, you are a better family member. And then, if you're happy with yourself and with your environment, then it also influences the climate pro problems, because you are more aware of everything. I would grant that. By the way, I am aware of the fact that in whatever you do, family plays an important role, children play an important role. You have children? Not yet. We have co uh, we have co-working baby. Then we have childcare. That's that's what I'm referring to. Yeah. I have three children. Well, well, you see, I I wouldn't disagree with what you're saying, not with any word of what you're saying just now. But um, we do, you know, we have to be honest with each other. We there we have real differences. And um, it's the same thing with Gunther, real differences. You know? I mean, I believe from the bottom of my heart that we need to change the current work system, the current job system. We need something very different from the current job system if we want to do something about the climate problem. As long as we have a work system, I'm sorry if I'm shouting, uh, which insists that we need to create more jobs, more jobs, more jobs all the time. Mm -hmm. And every time you open the New York Times, there's another report on how, is it 5% or is it 5.9 or is it a little bit? I can't stand it anymore. Now, as long as we have a system where the creation of more jobs is absolutely what drives everything else, what drives the economy, what is used to measure the economy. I mean, if we have high unemployment, we have high fever. If we have low unemployment, we have good fever. Well, with all of that, I disagree. We need a different job system, in or a job system where we are not struggling to create jobs. Sorry, I misspoke, my mistake. A work system where we don't struggle to create jobs. And in a nutshell, now I'm jumping, in a nutshell, new work is an effort to create two additional kinds of f forms of work, two forms of work in addition to job work. One is what I call community production, what I used to call high-tech self-providing, which I think has a lot of overlaps with co-working as far as I know. but. Uh, in my case, the emphasis has much to do with the capacity to use uh, in amazing ways, very new technologies, so that even in, in a single sp space, even in a small space, you can create very advanced products. So, one new form of work is community production or high-tech self-providing. That will make it so that we are not constantly struggling for more jobs, more jobs, more jobs. Because everybody will be able to do community production. And that means that they will be much less dependent on jobs than they are now. That overlaps strongly with urban farming, but any number of other things which I take I mean, one of my little sayings always is, well, okay, what comes after vegetables? I mean, so, so we, we need beyond urban farming. That's one thing. The other is, uh, and, and there I think we really need to talk because it may be very close and it may not be that close. I feel 
that asking people the question, what is it that you really want, is a way of into a new culture, into a new way of life. And it does mean that people discover work that is not in the job system. This is what I really want to do. And to come back to a question you asked me, I think in the case of some men, and I now say on purpose, on some men, it is their children. They want more time for their children. That happens. That too happens. So, the idea of making it possible for people to do work that they really want to do uh, is a second way of adding to the available work possibilities. There are jobs and there will be jobs, but always in short supply. In contrast to that, new work says there is, uh, that plays a role in what I write, there's an infinity of work. Work is infinite. We're not limited. We're not worried about running out of work. And in addition to the work people do now in jobs, they could do work they really want to do, which will be different from the work of the past, and they can do high-tech stuff providing a community production. So work is not limited, but being paid for the work is limited. Hmm. That's, um, again, you ask wonderful questions. We should have met years, years ago. Um, that's again one of those questions where I don't immediately say either yes or no. That is... Um, and if we had a basis income, then it would be solved. Now you have stepped on, my, on one of my big vulnerable toes. Mm -hmm. I hate the idea of basic income. I'm not sure about it. Hmm? I didn't decide yet. Okay, well, I have argued with all of these people forever and ever. And, uh, and I don't think I'm at the losing ends. I, I, when I talk to the Pope of basic income or whoever, I usually say, look, I have a very different life from your life. I know people who are on drugs. How many people do you really deal with that are on drugs? I know that if I give income to people who are on drugs, I know exactly what they will do. But what led them to taking drugs, because they were so unhappy with their situation. Oh, I'm not that sure about that. And, no? and, and, and besides, I don't know any people who are on drugs. Well, that doesn't matter. Well, it does matter, or whatever. The, 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 my point is at the moment... Besides alcohol. Oh, oh, okay, <laughs> well, I've spent a lot of time in Russia, so I know about alcohol. <laughs> I've spent time in Austria, so I know about beer. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, don't let's not lose ourselves. We can take a little break if we want a break. But I'm a very concentrated person. I can go on until four o'clock in the morning without any, without eating anything except your pie. Mm -hmm. Good. Can I ask a question? But, like, no. The thing is that I'm saying basic income. Uh, what do they say in German? Bedingungsloses <coughs> is a disaster. Because if you simply give money to everyone, no questions asked, you will give money, supposedly, to my mind, you can't do that. Because I don't want to give money to, to people who are on drugs because I want to work with them, getting them off drugs. The last thing I want to do is to make it possible for them to buy the next hit. And I know, I mean, I, here I stand, you see. I, I mean, I, I really have worked with drug people. I, I know something about it. So, um, I feel the same is true all the way. I'm, I'm, in fact, I, I'm, I take some pride in the fact that years and years ago, I proposed something with the then Minister for Work of Brandenburg, who was an amazing woman, which I called, uh, what did we call it? Stipendien für Arbeitslose. That is uh, uh, making it possible for people who are unemployed to get a stipend if 
the evidence is that they would use it well. That's not unbedingt, but bedingt. So, I, I'm all in favor, of, of, tremendously in favor, and how? I mean, I couldn't be more for giving money to people who need it and who could make good use of it. But the idea of just doing it, no questions asked, I think is open to any number of worst objections, including that it will not be used well, that it will be used very badly. Did it in Brandenburg not work out? Not in exactly that form, no. But that is not quite true. I mean, in, I have worked in Brandenburg many times. Uh, you should meet, if you have not met, her name is Ursula Klingmüller. She's an absolutely astonishing woman. She used to work until very recently in the Ministry for Labor for Brandenburg, and she is a very close friend. And she is at the moment on a trip, but she comes to Austria anyway. She's in Berlin, you can meet with her. She's a very close friend. Um, and she can tell you exactly where this is and how much of new work has happened in Brandenburg. And I'm not saying that we succeeded, I'm not, but things have happened. In general, I hope that comes across, that I feel uh, we have not succeeded. If people ask me, no, I'm not satisfied. I'm the, the thing that I really hoped to do in my life, I have not accomplished. I have failed to accomplish, to turn new work into a real movement. It has not happened. But lots of people are talking about Bernie Sanders and whether I should try to connect and so forth and so on. And I don't. And no, I, I'm, I mean I'm much more impressed with the possibilities to really make new work happen in all the poor countries: Bulgaria, Romania, etc., India, Russia. That's as soon as I can move again and I'm using this right now to move, as soon as I can really, it's no good to go from one African or Indian village to another Indian village with a walker, you can't do that. You've got to be able to walk. I can't, so right now I can't, but I hope to be able, I'm training now to walk again and then I would go to those countries. I would probably visit Austria because I love some of the people there, including France, whom I love. But my hope to change the world is, does not rest on Austria. It rests much more, and, and I am hoping to change. You know, I think the world can be changed. And if it can be changed, then because we make a difference in, in Spain, in, in, in Argentina, in Brazil, in India, in Russia, and so forth. Think I'm crazy? I just want to fully understand everything you say. Well, I appreciate that tremendously. I'm, you know, I'm grateful to you. And I mean it. I did not get fully there under the solution. New work. What does it... Work? What is it? <laughs> the shortest answer is, it is the next enormously improved work system. My most central sentence is, the job system is only one way to organize work. It is only 200 years old, it only came into existence around the Industrial Revolution, um, it was a problem even then. Lots of people, and that's not always acknowledged, lots of people 200 years ago, besides Karl Marx, many other people said that the job system would be a calamity, would be a disaster, was no good. Among my favorite people is Thomas Jefferson and Charles Dickens. 
with Christmas Carol, which is not just about Christmas, but it's about work. And so, I think the short answer is a different way to organize work. And a different way to organize work is possible because the job system is only one way to organize it. And it's one of the stupidest ways of organizing work that anybody ever thought of. <laughs> so, uh, new work is a new way to organize work. Most importantly, it adds two kinds of work, two modalities of work, two forms of work to the now existing job work. Job, I, I don't think job work will go away, but it will forever be inadequate. It will always be short. We will always have a lack of jobs. You mean the employment? Yeah. There's always a scarcity of jobs. Uh, but I, I don't put too much weight on this. That is, if people say, look, there are lots of jobs right now in New York City. Oh, okay, so what? Doesn't begin to touch me. I mean, I'm, uh, I know that young people in any number of Mid-Eastern countries, young males especially, have unemployment in 30%, 40%, 50%, 60% in that range. Same in Spain, 50% at least, so on and so forth. So, I don't think this will go away. Uh, and I'm back where I was, unless we change the work system and add new ways of working. New work is new ways of working. And co-working may be one of them, and, and there the connection is very close. But to my mind, I mean, we add community production or high-tech self-providing. I don't know how you relate to that, but maybe you relate very importantly. And, and, and also, you know, very importantly, people need to find out what they really want to do. Th that, to my mind, is the capstone. That is, you know, Luther said, here I stand, I cannot do otherwise, God help me, amen. I don't like Luther that much, but I would say something similar about it. We have to get to a way so that people can do what they want to do. That is freedom. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Do you know any good example where they execute this? Well, yeah, I, I, I actually think that uh, I'm not happy completely. I don't like everything. I never like everything, that's of course without saying. But I am very impressed with the Othellos in Austria. Mm -hmm. And I would love to spend more time with them. And I'm especially impressed with the way in which they developed into a co-op, a Genossenschaft. Um, I'm very fond of Martin, but also of other people like Wolfgang Mader and so forth. Um, I, I, I'm, you know, I think that what they do is pretty good, but it's... I don't think it's on its way to turn Austria into a new work country. There we don't quite agree, I think. I mean, I mean now. How would we like, I understand like the concept of completely, you know, kind of trying to create like a, you know, self-sustainable environment, country, you know, but then what actually happens to like, you know, when somebody needs a, a piece for their phone or like a car part, like what happens when the country has become so reliant on kind of digressing into more <clears throat> like, um, it, do we lose our like efficiency um, or at some point will certain countries or places become so reliant on mass-producing products because a self-sufficient country might have to rely on somewhere like China or America for actual products that they might need. It's a wonderful question. Uh, sorry. Uh, 
No, I mean, I, as a, I feel a little embarrassed saying that, but I'll say it anyway, even though I blush when I say it. Um, there is a long chapter on what's wrong with mass production in the book that's now being published in different ways and so forth. And I'm, I'm wanting to shift from publishers to e-books e and things like that, but it's being worked on. And in a nutshell, mass production is much more expensive than we imagine it to be, yeah. in a nutshell. Yeah, it is, and facilities and, and, and sorry, let me, can, let me just finish that sentence. I mean, the thing is that I mentioned earlier that I got interested in technology way back when, when Google was still very small. Uh, I have been interested in technology ever since, and this is very relevant to your question, because I absolutely believe that it will become possible to make spare parts for car, for spare parts for phones, spare parts for blah, 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 blah. not mass produced, but with, for example, example, no more than example, 3D printing, but there are any number of other things that I'm impressed with. And that I think are part of what makes new work not just a crazy idea, but something that has substance. That is, I think we can succeed because a lot of technology is on our side, or because we are on the side of a lot of technology. And I bank on this. That's, I do put some of my eggs into the basket of new technology. That's something where I disagree with some green people and so forth. What if we add another point to community production and what people want to do, which is how much do you really need? Oh, tremendously. I wouldn't. I mean, if you say add, I would say that's that's not additional. We that's part of finding out what you want to do. What you want to do includes that you decide you don't want this crap. You don't need this. You don't need that. You can do without that. So yeah. But that's very, in fact, if I may say so, being again a little presumptuous, you know, I, I paid my, my dues, uh, <laughs> I use the expression that labor unions use, I paid my dues when I was working in Flint with the automobile unions with the UAW, and it became obvious that they, they bought things like left, right, and center because General Motors paid them very well, but they didn't want any of the things they bought. There's a long chapter on what has to happen with the media, and there we have had some real success. That is, I started talking about the media years and years ago. I, by, by the way, I started to talk about 3D printing, you know, 10 years before other people did, if I arrogantly may say so. But the thing is that 3D printing has evolved, but I wrote in the book that I published in whatever, 15 years ago, the New Work, New Culture book in German, that um, what would happen is that it would become vastly cheaper to make movies, to make CDs, to make all of the different things that have to do with mass producing media or making films, making television. And that has happened. And it now is much more possible for uh, people to just put something on on a table during a conversation and record. So, um, well, I think the possibility to... Can I help you? Mm, I need the cable. I have one, I actually have one. So. Okay, thank you. Am I exhausting you? Right am I driving you crazy? No. No? Very sure. Decent. You're okay? Right you can slap me if you want to. <laughs> I just think that co-working is much more than you think. Hmm? Uh, co-working includes much more, more than you think. Co-working? Hmm? 
No, that's very possible. I said to begin with, I have lost touch. The relationship was very close. And it's always, uh, it, it depends on the one who is organizing the co-working. Is it just a room with desks and he wants to make much money out of it or as much as possible and not giving a shit about the community, then it's not co-working. See, that is, I said earlier, I really want a long conversation with you about co-working. I do. Because basically my, step, my posture is that I'm trying hard to get to a point where we can combine all the different things that are happening now that are all moving in similar directions. That's really what I'm doing. I'm sending. I can tell you that it, it influences people positively. We have uh, people who have not met before. They decided that we do a project for refugees since we have a lot of refugees now in Austria. I know. And um, we are trying to help them to find um, jobs. So either at a startup, which is part of our community, or at established companies. And I mean, everyone in our network has another network and. We are very positive that we can find through our network um, jobs for those individuals. And if we only save one one life, then already a lot is done because it changes the life of this person who came to Austria completely nothing, um, having then his body and the skills that he had at home. Then it's already a big change. And such projects come out when people who think positive about the world connect, see each other, trust each other, and then start, how can we positively influence our society where we live in? I don't know whether, I hope you don't mind this now, but I'm the sort of person who isn't that careful about what I say, okay? So maybe this will offend you or sound wrong, but I would, I invite you to invite me I would love to have an opportunity to talk to co-working people about new work and to say, basically, okay, can we come closer together? And and I would start by saying we used to be very close. Mm -hmm. Now things have gone sort of like this, but let's come back together again. Okay, we are planning to do in Ramallah. Wow, a co-working. Come in. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. Uh, my wife is with me today.